Allow me to introduce myself. I am Master Sergeant Punky, and I have been given the task of putting you recruits through basic training for Tyra and the Curse of the Magical Glitches. Our goal is to get you ready to hunt down glitches across the grid. Are you ready for that? Sir, yes, yes sir. Where are you from, resident? Bay City, sir. Never heard of it. You, where are you from? Ahern, sir. Ahern? The only things that come from Ahern are newbies and griefers. Which one are you? Don't answer that. What about you? Where are you from? You know what? I don't want to know. You, as residents, are here to be our main force in stopping Ruth's plan to infest the grid with magical creatures known as glitches. Glitches come in many forms, and any glitches you capture are yours to keep. You may collect them, trade them, whatever you like. You also will get green, pink, or blue magic gems the glitches carry with them. We use these to power our magical glitch capturing weapons, so you can trade the ones you receive for things like better weapons or prizes, aka fabulous rewards. You will start out in the portal park. Find the portal, and it will take you to Hardyshire. This is the main hub. The first thing you will see are the story and tutorial videos. Beyond that is the main square. To the left is the gift shop, where you can find free gifts. To the right is the gem apothecary. This is where you will trade gems for prizes, upgrade your weapons, and most importantly, get your starter kit. In the starter kit, you will find a glass jar for capturing glitches and the main game HUD. Click on the starter kit and it will place the contents in a folder in your inventory. Open this folder and add both items. Now you are ready to start capturing glitches. At the end of the town square in Hardyshire, you will see three portals. Do not go there yet. Those are for the bonus levels. More on those in a bit. First, the HUD. On the HUD you will see a number of buttons. In the center are a plus and minus button to allow you to resize the HUD larger or smaller to fit your screen better. In the upper left of the HUD is the Home button. This always brings you back to Hardyshire. Below that is the Help Wiki button, which opens a page to the wiki, where you will find more detailed explanations about everything related to the game. Next to those is the Mute Sound button, which means any sound coming from the HUD, and the Next Location button. This is an important one. This is how you get from place to place where glitches can be found. They might be in info hubs or places like Bay City, Linden seasonal regions like Winter Wonderland and Isle of View. They can be almost anywhere, but the fastest way to find them is with this button. Under those buttons is the button for a map of the search area. Pressing this toggles a flip down map of the area, showing where glitches in that area are most likely located. This is also the message display that lets you know if you caught a glitch, or missed, or if you've caught the limit and need to move on to the next location. On the right side of the HUD is the gem counter. This keeps track of how many gems you have. If you get more than 99 of one color, the HUD exchanges them for one of the next most valuable color. 100 green gets you one pink. 100 pink gets you one blue. 100 blue gets you... Well, we don't know what 100 blue gets you. No one has ever gotten that many. Now you need to know how to play. Use the next location button to go where the glitches are. When you get there, use the map to find the general search area. Then go there and find them. Listen for the unique calls. They may be standing around waiting to ambush people or just wandering about. Sneak up on the glitch. The closer you can get, the better your odds at capturing it. Then. When you get close enough, go into mouse look, use the crosshairs to aim, and left click to fire. Aim carefully. If you miss and alert the glitch to your presence, it may get away before you can reload. If you successfully capture the glitch, a cage will appear around the glitch. You will also see on your HUD that you caught it. You may get gems which will be added to your counter, and you could also receive a prize instantly. If you do, you need to exit out of mouse look and accept it. This is very, very important. You really need to accept your glitch prizes as soon as possible. Glitches are escape artists. What magical creature isn't? If you log out, teleport out of the region by using the next location button, for instance, 
or suffer a terrible fate such as a crash before you click keep, you could lose your glitch. If you missed, the glitch will disappear to go wreak havoc someplace else, and the HUD will indicate that you did not capture it. Then there is the third possibility. Sometimes the glitch sees you before you see it. When this happens, they might cast a magical spell on you that makes you do a funny dance or drops an anvil on your head or something to slow you down while it escapes. Once a glitch casts a spell, you cannot catch it. And other glitches can cast spells while you are trying to catch a different one. So watch out. And if you're on a bonus level, you could be sent back to the resurrection circle at the start of the level. What? What's a bonus level? Oh, right. Remember I mentioned three portals in Hardyshire? Those take you to the bonus levels. You have to pay in gems to get through, which is why you need to start capturing glitches in the wild first. Once inside a bonus level, you only have a limited amount of time. Once it runs out, you're teleported back to Hardyshire. If you crash or log out before your time is up, the remaining time is banked and saved for when you return. The HUDs for the bonus levels are slightly different from the main HUD. You still have a home, mute, help, resizing buttons, and a gem counter, which work just like the ones in the main HUD. In addition to those, you now have a cage indicator to show you if you caught a glitch or not, and a timer showing how much time is remaining before you will be automatically teleported back to Hardyshire. There are three bonus levels. The first is the Forest of Gathering. The forest is a mystical place filled with glitches. Once you pay the portal in gems to enter, you can try to capture as many glitches as possible before your time runs out. There are perils here though. If you get caught by one, or if a glitch casts a spell on you, you're teleported back to the resurrection circle. The second bonus level is the Sanctuary of Wind. This is a temple in the sky that doesn't have any glitches to capture, but it does have a lot of gems. The object here is to get as many gems as possible while avoiding the traps that will send you back to the beginning of the level. Finally, there is the Rusty Cauldron. This level is only accessible to premium member residents. The Rusty Cauldron is a giant scale medieval tavern where everything is huge. It's full of both glitches and gems. There are no resurrection circles, but there are plenty of things that will slow you down as you go. And like all the bonus levels, once time runs out, you're automatically teleported back to Hardyshire. So, do you residents think you are ready to go out there and capture some glitches? Sir, yes sir! Then how about you? The tiny robots always triumph! I'm fine, I'm fine, don't get up. It's just a flesh wound.